On the table today, we are talking about one of my most favorite retro shows, Knight Rider. Hey everyone, this is Dan, and thank you much for watching Squirrel Stampede today as we are going to explore some 1980s thrills. Playmobil has kindly sent over Kit from Knight Rider, a supercomputer car full of turbo boost. This car is so iconic and has that great flashing red light that goes also, since Playmobil is so retro right now, they sent over an A-Team van too, full of characters from that great retro 80s show. So two really packed 80s sets here to look at today. I'm super excited. Let's see if we can explore these and learn a lot about Knight Rider and the A-Team. Squirrel Stampede! On the table, Playmobil has one of the best classic shows now, Knight Rider Kit, the 1982 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, Knight Industries 2000 Kit is here, no way. I spent pretty much all of last winter revisiting this show on Netflix. If you're looking for a chance to watch this show, check on over there. I believe that's where it's currently streaming. The set comes with three Playmobil figures. We've got Michael Knight, Devin Miles, and Bonnie Barstow. And I think the squirrels right now are trying to imitate Michael Knight's or David Hasselhoff's epic hair. 53 pieces makes up this epic packet is set number 70924. Then over onto the back, what do we have? Obviously Kit is the main feature here. Kit, the advanced supercomputer on wheels full of gadgetry and crime fighting abilities. And mainly that great Cylon-esque flashing red back and forth light. But not just Kit packs this set, we've got Bonnie's repair bay, and we have Devin Miles' office with commands ready for Michael Knight to go out and serve the foundation of law and government. So there's quite the many details in this pack, plus a lot of fine print. Like, did you know that Kit can do a turbo boost over all of this fine print? Time to unseal this epic Playmobil box. Just simply cut here and release on the sides and you should be able to reuse your box. One of the nice things about these sets is the classy boxes. Look at there inside. In fact, more classy than ever, we've got trays for the figures and car. That is something special. It will keep the dust and fingerprints off your Knight Rider while it's in the garage. So inside the box we have a guide for our Knight Rider kit vehicle. And if you want to recall, Knight Rider, a shadowy flight into a dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Michael Knight, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the innocent, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of criminals who operate above the law. Uh, I've heard that a hundred times and now it has it in every different language, obviously. And so then it features the pack here. Uh, Kit Knight Industries 2000 futuristic, officially an intelligent car outfitted with high-tech gadgets and weapons. And so all the things we see in the box, plus a little bit of a character bio for each. There's Michael Knight from the Los Angeles Police Department to the Foundation for Law and Government. Michael Long's life changed forever on the night of August 8, 1982, when he officially died. Days later, thanks to intervention of William Knight and complex facial reconstruction, he was reborn as Michael Knight to continue his crime-fighting work. Plus, we have information on David Miles there at Flag, Flag's leader who provides mission details. Things weren't easy for Devin. Forced by the circumstances around him, he had to put himself in charge of the Foundation, Flag, and try to carry out his friend Wilton's and his own dream. For that, he had to entrust the fruit of its efforts, Kit, to a perfect stranger, Michael Long, who from that moment on would be known as Michael Knight. Bonnie Barstow, Bonnie, as seen in seasons 1, 3, and 4, Kit's chief technician and lead design engineer for Knight Industries, Bonnie is a highly gifted individual with an IQ of 137. Her key contribution to the team is the repairing and fine-tuning of Kit. Bonnie is probably the only person who knows Kit even better than himself inside and out. And uh, yeah, just more setup things on what to do with uh, your Knight Rider here so we can build her up and get Kit ready to drive. And of course, oh, that fantastic fine print. Like how many times Kit can turbo boost over this review. Okay, so there is Kit. How much I thought 
we are going to have to build Kit, and we surely do. So we're going to have to place together Kit a few times right now in basic form. Which, if you enjoy this show several times, Kit gets pretty roughed up, and Bonnie here helps fix him up. Pretty cool to see Bonnie. It's, it's amazing how simplified the Playmobil figures are, and all they do is add just a little bit of detail, and together they certainly seem like what you've seen on this show. There is Michael Knight, David Hasselhoff. The figure just features two eyes and a smile, yet that giant curly fro of hair on top of his head certainly says Michael Knight, David Hasselhoff, jacket, jeans. Oh, it's so perfect. It's hilarious. And of course, Devin Miles. Who would have ever thought we'd see a Devin Miles figure in the year 2022? There he is, helping the foundation, or running the foundation, and telling Michael what to do. Uh, Michael, forget about your vacation! Alright, the rest of the pieces for Kit. I would like to keep this box intact for the most part, but I believe we can just pull these trays out, and I think everything is in here to build the rest of our, our setup. Sure enough, we've got bags of pieces. Devin's computer is stuck in there. That is a nice computer center and some stickers. So we have bag one and two and a computer to build. Pretty amazing what Playmobil can recreate. Here is the body of a 1982 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, all in black, of course. And it looks to be designed and scaled pretty much to what you would see in 1982 driving down the road. I see all the classic features of this vehicle. This is not just some cartoony rebuild, they put some work into this thing. And then let's get our bag of pieces out here. What do we got in bag one? So many accessories. Look at this fancy mahogany plastic desk. And then an office chair. I wonder if the office chair can turbo boost higher than Kit. Probably not. Some telecommunications equipment. Michael Knight's fancy Kit communicator wristwatch. This must be repair pieces. So Bonnie can help build Kit. Little computer screen that might go inside Kit. And more technical pieces we'll figure out. Is this a grapple? A oh, grapple. All right, what's in bag two? The accessories with Playmobil is like none other. These feel like the wheels. And certainly I do see a lot of wheels. But there's some other things in here too. Okay, yeah, we've got four wheels and a few extra other pieces. Let's get this thing put together and we'll take a look at it. All right, everything is built, pieced together, ready to drive. We've got Kit up front center, Michael Knight standing ready to go with assignment, Devin Miles in his office ready to command, Bonnie ready to repair. Lots of fun accessory pieces included with the pack. We've got tools for Bonnie over here, a little tool case, her diagnostic center. I guess you could pretend we're inside the night mobile command center in that truck. Camera piece accessory, desktop computer, phone center, squeaky chair, and of course, most importantly, kit. We've installed two AAA batteries, and by tapping over on the front hood here, we should get an acknowledgement of life. There we go. of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, Kit if you prefer. We have that classic back and forth red light scanner up in front lighting up Kit, very 80s for sure. And to keep tapping here, Michael, that was no accident. We should get a few other voice commands. You seem to be repositioning my main power booster. What shall I do while you're gone? Right away, Michael. Yes, well, don't you think you should pre-program me in the event you don't return? Michael, what shall I do while you're gone? I can't get the power boost yet, though. You seem to be repositioning my main power booster. Maybe that's what it was. I was hoping we'd get a power boost sound, too. That is so iconic and classic. So what do we have here with Kit? So again, very detailed. We've got pop-up headlights. Manual, unfortunately. Oh, as I press his hood there, you can click these up if you want headlights. 
We have four rubber tires for nice grippy driving. Oh, it's so easy to accidentally activate that action feature. I think we've heard that before, Kit. Let's look inside. So here we have a back-end bird's eye view of Kit. Now if you can get all the way to season four, Kit does have the ability to retract his roof and back screen and turn Kit into a convertible. The toy will let you do that by just removing the top roof and shell. And now we have a spot for Michael to sit down inside. You can see a full set of all the controls that power Kit, the turbo boost, the talking, flashing voice box, plus all the other gadgetry and dials that Michael Knight presses. And we've got the classic 80s double handlebar, impossible to drive with a steering wheel. So let's place Michael inside now and get those Playmobil hands grasped firmly onto that great 80s steering wheel. Plus, we have plenty of room for passengers. We've got a shotgun seat and two seats in the back. I'm going to have to find some generic Playmobil figures to recreate episodes with. Plus a little bit of storage in the back here too. So all around here, a great vehicle re-representation of Kit. They've really done a great job recapturing this 80s icon. Couple extra features, we do have a flip up rotating concealing license plate. Right now he's letting everyone know it is Michael Knight driving the car. Uh, you can rotate it, although I'm having trouble getting mine into the right spot uh, to get a full rotation. There we go. Oh, I almost had it. But you can rotate it around to a little more concealing KNI667 license plate number. There is also a grapple accessory, and I'm trying to figure out where to really tie it down. It's indicating towards the rear. We've got a clip to add on here. I think you just place it right in here. But I don't really see a great place to tie this down and hide it yet. Maybe you can shove it under one of these panel clips. I'm not so sure. But I think I will leave it off for now. You can even see a little bit of a winch right here. This is where I usually typically remember on the show the grapple firing out the front. But maybe it does fire out the back. It probably does both for whatever the episode needed. But I'll just leave the grapple off. It's not that necessary. If it had something in there to wind up and retract it, it would have been much easier to play with. So what a fun vehicle to recreate 80s adventures. I love the fact that they also included Devin here and Bonnie as they are so integral into the part of the team. Just enough here to recreate episodes of Knight Rider. If you have not watched the show, I totally recommend picking up a few episodes. I think season one, episode two or three was a pretty fun one with the biker gang attacking a town. So if you were a big fan of Knight Rider in the 80s, you were also a fan of the A-Team. Playmobil has also remade the A-Team's classic van, set number 70750 with 69 pieces, and the four A-Team minifigures, Hannibal, B.A., Face Man, and Murdoch. This vehicle also so iconic next to Kit. There's B.A. working on his van full of accessories with this one. It will be fun to see how it builds. I believe the A-Team van was released last year, 2021, whereas Knight Rider was this year, 2022, but you can still find this over on Amazon if you're looking out for it. Let's open the box for this set. We also have another nicely decorated tray box. There's an instruction information guide for the Playmobil A-Team. Ten years ago, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they did not commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. And there's Hannibal Smith, the leader. He leads the A-Team, a master technician. He keeps his team out of trouble, but his unconventional methods rarely lead to a predictable conclusion. He is a master of disguise, and he loves it when a plan comes together. Perfect. Be a bad attitude, Barracus. He is an extraordinarily skilled mechanic. He is also the team muscle. He has a very short fuse, so do not get him angry. He fears no one and nothing except for getting in a plane. And then we have Lieutenant Templeton Face Man Peck. We've got, he is an A-team con man and go-to guy when it comes to getting what they need. He uses his good lucks and charm to scam and hustle his way to the prize. He can talk anyone into anything and will use impressions and disguise to get what he wants. And finally, my favorite, Howling Mad Murdoch. He is one of the best chopper pilots to emerge from Vietnam. His record reports him as being officially mentally unstable and he is scarily convincing at it. 
He doesn't run from trouble, instead he'll plot a course directly for it, often to the dismay of B.A., who has a love and hate relationship with him. And he even has his stock puppet included as an accessory. Okay, so then we've got how to build all our pieces and puzzles. Let's get this van together. So we have our van here nicely protected by a little plastic sleeve and box. It's a little more silvery gray than I imagined. Oh, that's right, it kind of has a nice gray tone up top. The red pinstripe going down the side and up, and then the black down below. And then for the figures again, Hannibal. I love it when a plan comes together. There's Mr. T, B.A. looking, whoa, decorated with gold. How does he lift all of that gold? It's amazingly looks heavy. And of course, Face Man here. Oh, he looks like just a nice guy. You can trust this guy, of course. You could let this guy borrow your car. And then Mad Murdock here. Hopefully his sock puppet must be in the accessory bin. So let's build up our car here, see what it's going to look like. So there's the van again. Bag one of pieces, bag two of parts, bag three of chairs. So plenty to accessorize up our vehicle. There's the classic red spoiler that goes up on back. Probably decals, all sorts of gear. And tools, more bunny tools. Chairs for inside. Binoculars. Lots of field mission equipment, lights. Bag two probably features all the wheels. That should keep things rolling, and bag one, probably a lot of character-specific accessories. Like Murdoch's all-important sock puppet. Well, let's get this van together, and then the team of A. Huh? That doesn't sound right. Constructed, built, pieced together, our A-team van looking great. Kind of a clone, maybe, of the Scooby-Doo van, I am not sure, maybe just another Playmobil van. They are pretty good at multi-use of some of their shells. They just simply added a spoiler onto the back and some lights up on top. Change the wheel hubs, add some paint, and you've got a totally different vehicle. No lights and sounds with this one, but why would it have a computerized voice inside like Kit? It is mostly an adventure van for your four figures included, with a few accessories. Here we have another toolbox with the various same tools that Bonnie had earlier while fixing Kit. Maybe she helps out and subs work for the A-Team as well. Each character has a few other extra accessories. Hannibal holding onto a walkie-talkie and some binoculars. We added some pink sleeve cuffs to face there. Murdoch finally with his awesome sock puppet hand. And BA full of extra metal. Pretty funny what they've got on this guy. Two golden bracelets on each arm plus an extra necklace really fills him up. Total Mr. T Playmobil figure. Look for this guy if you are a big fan of Mr. T. As for the van, there's room for everybody inside. We can remove the top piece much like the mystery machine. And we can remove the front windscreen as well. Let's place BA up in front driving his car. And an extra passenger seat to whoever would like to ride next to him. For some reason, and I have not rewatched the A-Team really recently, we have two cartons of milk included with this build. Why they included that, not really sure, but it's there. And if you recall, like the Scooby-Doo van, we've got a door on the side that does swing open. And a little propane torch is right here at the edge. And over to the back, we've got two back doors that swing open. And you can kind of peek inside what is going on with this van. There's a couple extra seats for everybody behind the driver's seats. Another seat over here on this side. And then on this side, we've got a fun little computer center. Plans to tank out the A-Team van. And a nice little pegboard here with flashlight, another walkie-talkie, some dynamite. Seems kind of dangerous, just blazed right there and some other chips to kind of insert. If you recall, the Scooby-Doo van had those light up. And over here, just a little table area. So a lot of extra features here to load in your group. I think it would have been kind of fun to have some sort of sound effect addition or something that is not included. But sometimes sound effects can get a little loud and overbearing. Placing back down our windscreen, Hannibal can sit back here and think of some plans as he looks at his screen. And Mad Murdock could sit in the back here and mumble to himself. Placing down our roof piece. Closing our door there. Door is sometimes a little tricky. Try not to get that torch in the way. 
and our back doors. And the A-Team van is ready for a mission. So pretty cool, last year's set still available this year. I had to totally request an A-Team van from Playmobil when they offered Kit from Knight Rider as the two are so perfectly iconic together. So what do you think about these great retro throwback vehicles from the 1980s shows? Thanks again Playmobil for sending these over free for us to share today. They've been a blast, especially because I have been re-watching a lot of these Knight Rider episodes this past year. If you like today's video, please give us a squake, a squirrel live, and a squamant. Let us know your favorite 1980s vehicle. Thank you so much for watching, that's what I have to say about that.